quite frequently we insert graphs for a certain dataset in our Excel worksheet. It provides us with a clear comparison between certain figures. But for this comparison purpose and also to analyze similar sets of data side by side, we need to combine two graphs. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to merge two graphs in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. To illustrate, I'm going to use a sample dataset as an example. For instance, the dataset represents the salesman, net sales and target of a company. Here, my first graph will be based on the salesman and target and the other one will be on the salesman and the net sales. The copy and paste operation in Excel makes many tasks easier for us. In this method, I'll just use this operation for combining the graphs. But first, I'll show you the process for creating the two graphs, target versus salesman and net sales versus salesman. First, select the ranges B5 to B10 and D5 to D10 simultaneously. Then, go to the Insert tab in the Charts group of commands, click on Insert Line or Area Chart drop-down icon and select the 2D line chart from the options. Here, you can select any other graph type from the Charts group. As a result, you will get your first graph. I'll change the chart title to Target vs Salesman. Now I'll create another graph for Net Sales vs Salesman. Select the ranges B5 to B10 and C5 to C10 and insert another 2D line chart like the previous step. Thus, you will get your second graph. Now I'll simply copy the first graph and paste it into another one to get our final result. So select this graph, press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy this graph. Now select this graph, right click on it, from the context menu, click on the paste icon. Therefore you will get the combined graph. Now I'll change the title of this chart also, type combined graph. And that's it. See how easy is this? Excel provides various chart types by default. Line charts, column charts, etc. are among them. We insert them according to our requirements. But there is another special chart named combo chart. This is basically for combining multiple data ranges and is very useful as we can edit chart type for each series range. I've already showed you creating two different graphs. But my mission is to combine these two graphs. Firstly, select the data range B5 to D10. Then go to the insert tab and click on the little arrowhead in the charts group of commands. It will open the insert chart dialog box. Go to the all charts tab and select the combo option. Now I'll select line as the chart type for both series 1 and series 2. And press OK. Hence you will get the combined graph. Change the chart title and type it combined graph. Now right click on the mouse to set the series names. From the context menu, click on Select Data option. It will open the Select Data Source dialog box. Here, select Series 1 and click on the Edit button. Type Net Sales in the Series Name box because the series values are C5 to C10, which is the Net Sales series. And click on OK. Similarly, change the name of Series 2 to Target because the series values are D5 to D10, which is the Target series. Click OK to close the Select Data Source dialog box. Look, the series names have changed. And that's the final result. You can also plot the graph on the secondary axis. If the two series data differs a lot, this feature would be beneficial for you. Let's say I want to plot the target series on the secondary axis. Click on the chart. It will open the Chart Design Contextual tab. In the Type group, click on the Change Chart Type icon. It will open the Change Chart Type dialog box. In the All Charts tab, click on the Combo option. Here, change the chart type of Net Sales series to Line. Here, check the box of secondary axis for the target series and click on OK. Eventually, you will get the combined graph on both axes. In this tutorial, I have shown two methods to merge two graphs in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. 
you can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users if you like this video consider subscribing and click the bell icon thanks for watching